I'm going to show you how to use BibTeX. So I've got a new TextMaker document here, and it's going to be APA. So let's go document class article. And then we're going to use a package. We're going to use package APA site. We're just going to put in a title, author, and then we're going to begin document. We're going to make title. And here we're going to go bibliography style. And then I'm going to use APA site in this example. And then we're going to go bibliography. And then here you're going to include the file name. So I'm going to call it references. And we have to create this file now. So I'm going to save this on my desktop as demo. And then also on my desktop, I'm going to create a file called references.bib. And this and this need to match. OK? And I'm just going to build this for now. Now, let's say I want to include a citation. I'm going to say, you know, some claim. And then we're going to go cite. And we have to include what we're going to cite in there. So right here, I have an IEEE article that I want to cite. So I'm going to take this. And the easiest way to get a bib text is to go to Google Scholar. So Google Scholar, paste in your article. And here, we're going to go cite. And one of the options we can cite it with is bibtex. So go to that and take this, go to your references and plop it in there. And now this is the name of the article we want to cite. So go back here and plop that in there. Okay. And if you try to compile it right now, it's not going to work because it doesn't know what we're, what we're, what we're talking about because uh, we haven't run bibtex. So, <clears throat> so to do that, we have to go F11. So F11, and then press it again, press it a bunch of times, and then uh, compile again with F1, and it'll include the reference. And you can see, you know, that's automatically formatted for us. It's really nice. But it's not referenced up here because we have to build it again. And boom, now we have a reference. Okay? And it's that easy. And one of the beautiful things about this is, let's say you don't want to use APA. You want to use, uh, I use... The IEEE one a lot, you can go change that to use IEEE, get rid of this APA site, change this to use IEEE, build it again. Uh, I'm gonna, we gotta rebuild the bibtex, rebuild this, and boom. Now it's cited in a different format, but it's all still auto-generated for us. That's the really nice thing about bibtex.